Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer. So this video is going to be a little unusual, but I wanted to give some thoughts about what's been going on for the past few months. No, this is not a call-out video, nor will this be pointing fingers at anyone. This is just my take of what I've been seeing, observation, some thoughts, as well as what to possibly expect in the near future overall, considering these next few months coming up in regards to my own channel, considering what happens at the end of this year or possibly at the beginning of next year. So over the past few months, for those of you who hang around my channel have possibly taken notice that I've been getting more and more quiet, more and more inactive. I am now down to a stream a week and possibly a video if even that. Um, I have backed off from a lot of stuff. I'm not really involved in anything. I've backed off from a lot of people. You guys get the idea. So it seems that every time I go quiet and every time I poke my nose back in, there seems to be more landmines going off. I've seen more and more people fight that I like and me trying to wrap my brain around as to why there's so much fighting. I've talked about it here and there in some of my streams as to what I've noticed when it comes to things like internet blood sports, who's the quote unquote top channel for that right now and that sort of thing and which channels I've seen die out. Um, I was recently in a Snatchcast episode with Schmeckle and a few others talking about how people could build bridges with each other if they really wanted to, but it comes down to ego and getting as much clicks and views as possible, seeing how a lot of channels are dying or becoming irrelevant and our particular part of YouTube is constantly under fire with hit pieces, censoring, false flagging, whether it be from other sides of YouTube or amongst each other, as we've seen recently. Now, something to consider too is because I've been thinking a lot about this. I've had a couple discussions with people, whether it be on the Snatchcast, the uh, Oof show or with Thomas Ellington. Um, a lot of things I've noticed and I've just been watching devolve more and more is people's communication with each other, the way that we treat each other or talk to each other. And I'm not going to sit here and claim from a pulpit that I'm perfect because I can get pretty cranky too. Um, but I've noticed more and more antagonistic behavior, there's less and less of actual discussion and more and more of how can we take this person out or how can we smear this person or run them off the internet over something I don't like that they did, blah, 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 blah. So our side or our rather neck of the woods has really devolved. Now, when I first came to this area of YouTube, this community, however you want to phrase that, I was a bit more susceptible to stuff, and I even did a video on bearings, which suffice to say, I didn't think all the way through and had more of a reactionary response to which it got squashed and I did my own video or whatever. So it got all taken care of. But something I've noticed, and this is pertaining to me, I'm not going to speak for anyone else, but something I've noticed about myself is the more and more I hang around this area of YouTube, and don't get me wrong, I like a lot of people here, I've had a lot of good conversations, I've even learned a lot of stuff that I know I wouldn't have learned other places. But the more and more... I have hung around this area the more and more I watch certain people, the more and more I found myself to be either 
jaded, numb, um, <laughs> antagonistic, what else could we put in there? Just passive aggressive and I have a level all my own of that, but at the same time I've just noticed myself become less sensitive to people and I think that's a really big thing with this area of YouTube is if you express any sort of sensitivity any levels outside of the considered norm you're called an SJW, a cuck, a whiner, a snowflake, and I've used those terms myself when people took something and made a big deal out of it when it was something really small and something that they could have just really let roll off their shoulders, but I've noticed that this attitude has taken a course for the worse with other things. Um, and it's now gotten to a point with this area of YouTube to where very personal things are being used against each other to attack, smear, make fun of, mock. You know, I've talked about it time and time again how I'm not a free speech absolutist. Um, this was on the OOF cast and I had a discussion, I can't remember the individual's name, but I had a discussion to where there are boundaries that need to be taken accounted for, and yes, there is room to give on a multiple of things. But at the same time, I feel like this side of YouTube doesn't know what those boundaries are anymore as well, and this may cause a lot of people to go, oh, well, you sound like an SJW, you sound like a snowflake, blah, 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 blah. Free speech is free speech. Honestly, I feel like with a a lot of stuff that's been going on lately and the way that people have been treating each other I feel like that we've lost a healthy aspect and respect of censorship let me explain while I don't agree with most censorship and I believe people should have the freedom to express their ideas for the most part not without consequence. I mean, you say something stupid, people are going to give you flack for it. That's normal. But I do believe people should be able to express ideas, mock, ridicule, or what have you. But I feel like there are certain lines in the sand that shouldn't be crossed. And I've talked about this before on my channel. There are certain lines in the sand that I don't cross. In particular, it doesn't matter who it is. There's just things that I'm not going to poke at people about. I'm not going to use as a weapon against them. And you know what? That That's me. That's just me. And I'm not saying other people have to do that. But what I've noticed is the lack of proper communication um, with the attitude that's been carried with this particular area of YouTube, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse to where it's no longer about actual discussions, especially with the bigger people. And I'm not saying everyone is guilty of this, because there's still a lot of people here that can have a proper discussion without name calling, being antagonistic, going for really low blows. But there's also a lot of people who have forgotten how to talk with each other. I know myself included where sometimes there's an instant reaction to something that I consider really over the top or really dumb when it comes to um, things like feminism or gun control, it's just things of that nature. And I've even noticed it because having discussions on Facebook with personal family members of mine or their friends and looking back at some of those conversations my attitude from being around at this particular area of YouTube for a very long time and adapting the attitudes and behaviors carrying that over to Facebook has actually caused me a little bit of trouble and yes I control my own behavior I control what I say I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not pointing fingers. That's not what this video is about. But I do want to point out the reason why there's so much, and I know this is an SJW term, toxicity. There's so much fighting. So much of bloated egos is 
we don't know how to talk to each other anymore. It's become this smear campaign who has the most dirt on the next person. Who can we squash while at the same time trying to use them as a stepping stone? There's a lot of people doing it right now. I've seen a lot of personal stuff come up of many different people that are involved in the fighting. And I have to say, it's freaking disgusting. There are people I've seen go completely ghost or just not pop up in my feed anymore because they don't want anything to do it. And I don't blame them. In all honesty, this community, or rather area of YouTube, as far as I saw it, it used to be closer. I know a lot of people got to know each other physically. There's been a lot of garbage that has come out, both just vulgar and even illegal to a sense, which is really crazy. But it just, this part of YouTube has really devolved. And I miss the older days where everybody seemed to get along better. You know, I wasn't really vocal or how should I say associated with a lot of people like I am or was a little bit later so maybe I didn't see things the things that I'm seeing now back then I don't know but I know as for me with the current state of YouTube and with my channel overall things have to change we're not gonna get any better this way we're not gonna get any stronger and we sure as hell am not going to be listened to so much anymore. If those of you who haven't noticed yet or haven't taken the time to read with what's going on in the EU, because this has to do with whether or not we still have a channel, whether we still get to even use this platform, is if Article 13 passes, and a lot of people disagree, but I can actually see this happening with the way that Susan Wojcicki has destroyed this platform, what she's done to it. If Article 13 passes, she's has pretty much decided that we lose our uploading privileges and that it's only going to be a few select companies that are going to get to upload. Just think about that for a second. A lot of us aren't going to be able to share things anymore and with all the fighting and backstabbing and smearing and just divulging of very personal stuff, we're not helping our case any in any sort of way. We talk about how we don't want to be censored. Um, I know the biggest, most recent debacle right now is Ethan Ralph being purged off of YouTube like Alex Jones was. and. Um, Wall Street Journal um, getting those donations returned back to people that was supposed to go to St. Jude and that's very tragic but at the same time okay so I don't agree with the donations being returned I really don't I think that was disgusting I think that was wrong I think that could help a lot of children but at the same time I can understand to a point to a point not much of a point, but to a point, St. Jude's rejection of the donation money, its PR stance, public image stance, I can see where they're coming from. Now, I've watched the kill stream for a little while now, and they've had a lot of good discussions. I think one of my favorite streams they did was of the uh, Brett K Kavanaugh hearing. Um, which I felt they covered really well and discussed really well. So I don't dislike Ralph in any sort of way. I don't agree with the stuff that's always said on there. And granted, I'm not always able to catch it. But at the same time, I really feel that there's not, how should I say this, a quality control when it comes to certain things about the show. Yes, you can't control the audience, but seeing how things are with YouTube and when he moved to was it D Life? He instantaneously got banned from there um, due to specific things about his audience, what happened on YouTube and like I said, I have nothing against the show. I think it's a really well run show. I think he's very much organized with his co-host and that they talk about a lot of good stuff I feel. Cover a lot of things. But at the same time I just think 
some things need to change and that's what I feel about this entire corner of YouTube. If we want to be taken more seriously, I mean we mock and make fun of the left so to speak or the feminists or the MGTOW or even sometimes the MRAs with the way that they act or even the religious side of YouTube with the way that they jump the gun on certain things. We're doing the same thing guys. A lot of us have become either ambulance chasers, a lot of us have gone out of our way to dig for dirt on to people. I mean I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but this is stuff that's been building up for quite a while with me and stuff that I've just been observing. It's not getting any better. And unless people change, unless people take a few steps back, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. And I feel it's going to get to the point to where this entire sector is going to get purged with what's going on with censorship and copyright crackdowns. This isn't going away. We cannot win this with the way that we're doing. Things are going to get worse. You're going to have more and more leaders get bought out. You're going to have more and more people wanting to censor and be successful with it. Gab was deplatformed for a while and all because a shooter used their platform and Gab didn't censor the guy I don't agree with everything that happened, and if I ran a platform and somebody was saying that they were going to um, kill someone, yeah, the dude would be banned in a heartbeat um, after a thorough investigation. Um, so there's certain things that I don't allow in my own channel and chat and things like that, but for the most part, I don't agree with Gab being the platform. I thought it was crappy, seeing how there has been worse instances by people who use YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. None of those companies get blasted, but Gab does. So that's our reality, and I'm going to talk about this more on an upcoming stream Tuesday. But that's the reality that we face, and with all this bickering and backstabbing and smearing and trying to use people's personal defects or personal lockings or past incidents against one another, it's not looking good for our side at all. I know I've gone through my channel and I've had to change some things, I've had to scrub some things out. There are certain subjects I don't touch at all because there's a lot of stuff I don't want to get associated with. It's not me being a coward, it's me going, well, this has a lot of crap to it, people aren't going to listen, or this isn't being handled properly, so I'm just going to stay away. Like I said, I don't dislike anybody for the most part. There's a lot of people in this sector that I really enjoy watching, or did, up until the fighting broke out, and it seems to me nothing but drama lately. I know a couple people who have gone on hiatus because it's nothing but drama. People's livelihoods are getting hit. People are getting false flagged. People are, are having very horrendous accusations lobbed at them. It's just a raging dumpster of fire at this point. And as I said, until things change, until people learn to put their egos in check and take a few steps back and realize that this is not the end-all be-all. It's just going to get to the point where we're probably all going to get it. But anyway, I know this video was all over the place. This is something that I've wanted to talk about for a while. Um, it's just something I've been observing. I have to clean up my own channel. I have to clean up my own act. I have to clean up my own social media spaces. And I know that regardless of how I say or put some things, it's going to offend someone or it's going to be considered uh, phobic in some sort of way, no matter what. I've opened the door a bit more for discussions like I had at Trend Anime on and Transsexual on my stream. Two weeks ago, um, as many of you know, I'm not for the trans movement, and as I censor him, I don't agree with the recommended outcome, but it's a struggle nonetheless that needs to be discussed and put out there in a proper way and not devalued. So that's how I'm opening the door, and there was an individual who actually helped contribute to that, and I 
talked with them a little bit after the show. Um, I'm not going to name them as they want to stay private, but it's someone I've been talking to who is struggling with their own gender identity or whatnot. And it's helping me see how to deal with, um, or rather, I don't want to say embrace, but just, you know, have that discussion without, you know, Bible thumping or just saying, hey, well, you shouldn't do that because it's unhealthy. No, it just, it's taught me a little bit more how to listen and be there for them. Um, so I thank them for that. And if they're listening, you know who you are. So thank you again. And I feel like a lot of us need to learn how to do this more. And... But anyway, that's just me. If this causes people to leave, you know what? I don't care anymore. This channel is bottlenecked. It's going to drift regardless. And I'm still grateful for the people who stay. Um, but I'm going to keep chugging on and do my thing. And what are your guys' thoughts? How do you guys say things? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later.